Here we're going to show you how to properly time your magneto to your engine. Refer to your engine data plate to determine your model designation and the necessary spark advance information. Rotate the crankshaft to bring the number one piston to top dead center on the compression stroke. You can do this by turning the crank in the direction of rotation, which is clockwise in rotation when viewed from the rear of the engine, while holding your finger over the spark plug hole until positive pressure is felt. If suction is felt, then you know you've gone too far. Locate the timing marks on the aft side of the ring gear support. On this particular engine, it is predetermined at 20 degrees before top dead center. A right angle triangle can be used to line up the timing marks between ring gear support and the crankcase split line. In this particular case, a slick magneto is used. This one is a 4371 model, which also incorporates an impulse coupling to aid in starting. The data plate on the magneto displays the model number and the direction of rotation. In this case, the magneto rotates in the left-hand direction, which is indicated by the letter L. For this procedure, a timing light is used. A positive lead is hooked up to the capacitor and a negative to the ground screw. The right-hand leads are grounded out because they are not being used in this case. Before the magneto is attached to the engine, the magneto should be internally timed by using a lineup pin usually supplied with the magneto. Rotate the mag drive until the pin slides through the distributor housing, engaging the hole in the distributor gear. In this case, the magneto is mounted and internally timed and is already aligned. At this point, the crankshaft should not be moved and the mag can be loosely mounted in its location with just enough torque so that the mag can be moved. Be sure to remove the pin before rotating the mag. With the timing box turned on, Gently rotate the mag in the proper direction until the timing light comes on. At this point, you can lightly tighten the hold down clamps so that the mag will not move on its own. Now on the front of the engine, move the crank flange counterclockwise just until the timing light goes out. And then slowly advance it clockwise again until the light comes back on. Double check the timing mark to reference the crankcase split line again. At this point, if you are satisfied with the timing, the magneto can be properly torqued, a very important step.